Hello everyone, welcome back. So today we're going to be doing a book haul. A very massive book haul. This is not all of the books that I've acquired in the last three months. Anything that I hauled in a different video, I'm not including in this. So yeah, you're not gonna get synopsis of these books because I have probably, I probably have about 46 or so to haul for you guys today and I acquired I did a rough count because there were a bunch of historicals that I don't even remember what I bought but I probably bought about 80 in the last three months since my last haul so I'm thinking that maybe I should do the hauls every month and do my wrap-up quarterly we'll see I'm actually trying to be a little bit more frugal I guess this next quarter or from here on out because I am spending a lot of money that I really shouldn't be spending um so what I did was I ended up just getting I had canceled uh, Kindle Unlimited for a really long time because I wasn't reading it I wasn't using it but I got it back so I'm hoping that I will use that and read books on Kindle first and then decide if I want a physical copy to have on my shelves will that work i don't know uh pango books is really the one thing that is becoming a problem because i've been buying a lot of stuff on there and i've also been selling books but i've been buying more than i've been selling so it's a problem so we're gonna just i'm just gonna go through the books that i got they're separated by where i acquired them so we'll do the pango list last because it's probably one of the big ones I did go to the used bookstore that I go to all the time so I have a haul from there as well the first ones I'll do are my book of the month so I have I don't think I got book of the month for April unless it was I might have skipped April's month and I might have gotten the love hypothesis in its place because I think um if you uh don't want any of the the books from that month you can pick like member favorites or something and like pick a different book in its place instead of one of the ones that they have listed i think this might have been what i got instead of an april book i think um but i know i definitely got the because this is from this came out in september of 2021 and i just recently got it so i think that might have been in place of my april um book of the month and i know i have not read this book yet i know everyone in the world has already and has been obsessing over it but i have not read it yet I want to though, I, obviously, because I got it. Um, okay, so my May books, I actually got a couple like thrillers. So the first one I got was The Hacienda by Isabel Canyas. Canyas? Um, and I think this is one is about like a haunted, I think it's supposed to be like a haunted hacienda, I'm not sure. I think Riley Marie read this and I don't, I don't think, I didn't watch any vlogs yet where she's read it, but I know I saw on Goodreads that she read it and gave it like three stars or something so i'm a little bit scared to read it but like at the same time i'm curious i really need to read more like thrillers and horror stuff because i have some of my shelves that i want to read but i just haven't gotten to them yet and then the other book in my june book of the month was breathless by amy mccullough this is a thriller again i need to read more thrillers i keep getting them because they sound good but i don't actually read them i need to do that I'm thinking of doing a vlog where I read thrillers that have been sitting on my shelves for ages. And then my June pick was The Lifestyle by Taylor Hahn. This is about swingers, but I hear it's not done very well. So I'm a little bit afraid to read this one now too, but I'll still read it just for the funsies just to see. But so yeah, so those are my book of the months. Um, the next couple books I got... So this one I got actually where I work. We don't usually get a lot of books that I have interest in reading. We get like the generic James Patterson, Danielle Steele, Nora Roberts, like the generic stuff that you can get at like a regular grocery store. But we got in Book Lovers by Emily Henry. So I snatched this up. I was like, oh yes, thank you. Um, I have not read any Emily, any of Emily Henry, Emily Henry's adult stuff. I did read her YA book, A Million Junes, I think, and I enjoyed it. So I do need to read the other ones of hers as well like beach read and people we meet on vacation so i may maybe may do a reading vlog for her we'll see how the stars align and what i'm up to, what i feel up to doing but so i got book lovers and then this book i got at barnes and noble i don't often go to barnes and noble i say this all the time because it's like 30 minutes or more away from me and it's expensive to buy books 
in the stores themselves uh, as much as that painful to say like it's it is sometimes cheaper not always especially indies sometimes are actually the same price in store as they are on amazon um but amazon i don't have to leave my house i mean it is i, I shouldn't say that I, it is nice to drive down and ex go into a wander into a bookstore for a little while a few hours with the price of gas right now I'm sorry. <laughs> um, anyway, I got hooked by Emily McIntyre. This is a, I guess, Peter Pan retelling with like Hook as the main character. I think it's a mafia esque sort of world, which I'm like, I'm here for this. So yeah, I got this one at Barnes and Noble. Uh, and speaking of Amazon, these next few books I got off of Amazon. Uh, the first one being corrupt by penelope douglas i did actually read this already we all know this i love this book and i want to get the physical copies of them but they're so expensive they're like 20 plus dollars per book and this was actually on sale for 16 which is why i bought it um so yes i love the series and i think mystic box so the mystic box i'm still waiting for both of the mystic boxes they've both been delayed for like a month um the uh March April box I think is Penelope Douglas and then the I think it's March April or I don't even remember which box is which one of them's Pam Godwin one of them's Penelope Douglas both of them should be coming at the same time because they've been they're both late at this point but the Penelope Douglas box does have um their versions of their special editions of gosh hideaway and kill switch i believe i was not a mystic box subscriber when the corrupt one came out so i don't I'm not going to be able to have a matching set but if they do re-release corrupt for individual purchase i will definitely get it and then resell this one um but yeah i love this series i want to actually i listened to this on audio this is one of the few exceptions where i listened to this entire series on audio and was obsessed with the game of five stars because i loved it so much but i do want to actually at some point go back and reread it physically but it's very chunky um so yes i love this series then then i again i read some of these this is the first time probably in a hallway i've read actually already read some of the books in it um but then i got oh, this way the first three books of the boston underworld series by aza varela i didn't get them all at the same time i got crow first and then i read it for a vlog and was obsessed and immediately had to order reaper which is the one i'm currently in the middle of reading of because i need to have rodent i needed to have rodent story asap and i'm loving it i have probably less than 100 pages left to read of this book and i'm obsessed um and then i got the third book ghost uh and i i don't know if i'll pick this up immediately after i read reaper but i'm just i'm dying like i need to read this entire series because i love it so much okay next we're going to do all the books that i got at my used bookstore that i frequent i do a couple come shopping with me's at this place a lot because it's it's about a 15 20 minute drive away i'll go through the historicals i got first because there aren't that many um the first one i got is to beguile the beast by elizabeth hoyt this and then there's the step back um, this is book three in the legend of the four soldiers series and i got this because i think it's a beauty and the beast retelling which i love um i don't know if you have to read them in order though i didn't really care if i had to read them in order as well i just wanted a beauty and the beast retelling next i got princess and the rogue by kate bateman 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 um which i hear is a fantastic book it's uh, the bow street bachelors series this is a there's no step back it's a newer book so it doesn't have a step back but i'm really excited to read this series the last one i got the last historical surprisingly on this list is actually one that my friend picked out for me i dragged him along with me well i don't really drag him along he just kind of like agrees to go and browses and he was looking and thought i would like this so he picked it out and it's a good earl gone bad by amanda collins i think it's part of the lords of anarchy series so i'm interested i'm gonna give it a try he keeps asking me if i read it yet so <laughs> I'm gonna have to read this soon and let him know if he if it was a hit or a miss because it's not that long it's less than 300 pages so I can probably bang this out fairly quickly okay um and then also when I go to that store I always a lot of the time am looking for um J.R. Ward to complete my Black Tiger Brotherhood books and stuff so I did find um this is actually the second book no 
fourth book? Fifth book. I think it's the fifth book of the Fallen Angel series, which is Rapture. And then these actually have step backs. Like, how cool are these step backs? I don't, not all of them that I have have them, but a couple of them do. Um, and then the other one I found is uh, one of the Christmas ones that goes like in, in one of the in-between books. It's Where Winter Finds You, Caldwell Christmas. And then I just happened to find this. This is the uh, Black Dagger Brotherhood Insider's Guide. So I figured, I know this is like earlier on in the series, but I figured um, it'd be a good thing to have. And it was only $3, so, well, $2. So I think I usually have credits when I go in there, so why not? Then... This is one of the ones I had them hold for me because I've been trying to get this book for a really long time. And uh, The Lost Apothecary. It's brand new. It's a hardcover. It was $3. $2 if I had credit. I honestly don't remember if I had credits at the time I bought this. But they posted this on their Facebook because they got it as a trade. And I was like, please hold. So I went and got that. Then this whole lot here. So I originally went to get... Uh, mon this is the Filthy Rich Villains series by Vanessa Waltz. So we have Monster and we have Tyrant. I saw these, they posted these on their Facebook and I was like, these look amazing. I need to have them. I've never read Vanessa Waltz before, but I'm going to give her a try because these sound like they'd be really good. But So I got those two and then while I was there, I was like, well... So the, I didn't ask them to hold them for me, but they were still there when I went. So I was like, well, I might as well get them because of why not? So I got a bunch of AK Evans. Uh, again, another author I haven't read, but she has a couple like fun looking series. And the first one is the Archer Tactical Series. So we have Line of Fire, Collateral Damage, and Silent Target. Look at these covers. Can we just like yes please thank you i would love to read these <laughs> um and then in a different video i don't remember which video it was i hauled the second i think it was the second book of this series um which is the harper security ops so the first one is broken but i i hauled the second one in a different video so you're finally getting to see the first one when i bought it, got it in this video at the time this is the only one they had and then i think the same lady that traded these in traded in more books so got broken and then we have another whole freaking series which is the rock and romance stars series again by ak evans so i think these are these should be in the correct order i'm not 100 sure um but these are rock star romances which i don't think i read many of um so we have fragile wish i can't even hold them i'm trying to hold them all at once closer 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 or closer? I don't know. Um, underneath it all. Terrible lie. And complication. Again, these covers. These covers. <laughs> Can you tell why I immediately snatched them up? Because I saw they were still there. Now we're into the Pango. All the books I got off of Pango books. Are we ready? Because I don't know if I am. Um, so the first one was Dark House by Karina Halley. This is a series I'm interested, I've been interested in reading for a, a long time because I think it's about um, like ghost hunters. The one is a YouTuber that I think has like a, a ghost hunting YouTube channel or something. I don't know. But this series sounds really good. So I got the first one. Then I got everyone's favorite from like last the end of last year, A Lady of Rook's Grave Manor by Catherine Moon. This is a reverse harem monster romance, which would be my first monster romance and my first, probably, I think my first reverse harem too. I don't think I've read. Oh, that's untrue. I did read Four Psychos. That's also reverse harem, but I've been hearing nothing but great things about that book. Then I got Making Faces by Amy Harmon. I was hesitant about reading this book and then I keep reading the synopsis and I'm like, this is probably gonna be one of those books that it's just gonna be make me feel good and make me cry and I don't know when I'm in the mood for an emotional book I'll probably pick this one up because I think that's what this is gonna end up being um then I got Haven by Rebecca Weatherspoon which I'm really excited to read 
This is another one I'm excited to read, Hero by Lauren Rowe. This is the first book of the Morgan Brothers series. Recently someone posted a uh, Captain for sale, which I think is the second book to this, um, and it was like $10. So but I'm trying, like I'm not, I didn't buy it yet. I'm going to try to like read the first one first to decide if I want to read the second one instead of just keep buying books. Um, then I got Hard to Love by W. Winters, I guess is what, Willow Winters. Um, I don't even like, I just kept seeing, it was like super cheap and I kept seeing this book around and I'm like, let me get that, let me give it a try. I don't even know what it's about. <laughs> then we have a book that I, again, another book that I read already, Priest by Sierra Simone. Now, listen. I know when I read this and I did the vlog for it, I gave it like three stars because I read it on audio and I had to read, not re on audio, an ebook and I had to renew the ebook on Hoopla like four times to finish it. I think it was more the heroine. I, I love Tyler Bell. What, that's his name, Tyler. Yeah. I love Tyler Bell as a character. I think it was the heroine. I didn't like the romance, but I like him because I'm still like, the series still sits in my head, or at least this book still sits in my head. My hoopla actually got Sinner. So I'm like, great. And I hear Sinner is a lot better than this one. Not a lot better, but it's it's like better than this one. So now I'm like, great. Now I gotta have to read that one and be all up in my... My friend's actually reading this right now, but she's listening to it on audio. And I was like, I didn't know that was an option. <laughs> because my hoopla didn't have it on audio. So, but she got it off of Audible. But anyway, yes. I love my priest romances when they're done well. Next we have another one that I've been really excited to read and that's Unloved by Katie Regnery. I think this is like a serial killer. Oh, his father was a serial killer and he, I think he um, thinks that he's gonna be the sim same way. So he like lives out in the fucking middle of the nowhere. But it sounds really good. Then we have one that I've never heard of, but it, again, it looks really good. And that's Washed in Blood by Ashley Lane. It's a Heaven's Guardians MC. It's the first book of their of that series. Sorry, I need to make window. Um, so I'm curious to give this one a try again. It was like super cheap and I was like, this looks good. I'm definitely a cover buyer when it comes to a lot of these things. Um, next I have Promises and Part of Promises and a Pomegranates by Sav R. Miller. Now I know Sav R. Miller and was it Emily McIntyre? I think wrote a book together. I think I just saw it at Barnes and Noble when I went the other day, but it was like dumb expensive, so I didn't get it. But they recently wrote a book together. So I think this is a Hades and Persephone uh, retelling. And I have heard mixed things about this. So curious to read it. Then we have Deal with the Elf King, Elf King by Elise Kova. I think it's the first book of, the Married, of a Married to Magic series um i don't know i'm curious to read more like fantasy paranormal romance and see how it goes because i love um karen Marie moaning did urban fantasy and i love that series so i'm trying to like try other new things but you know dark romance is absolutely where it's at for me um then i got the ever popular uh what is this twisted series is this what it's called the twisted series the first two books of the twisted series by anna wong so i got the, these are the discreet covers twisted love and twisted games i know twisted hate is the third book and then twisted lies just came out um but no i have not read any of these books yet in this series and i don't know if i like the original covers or these more i really i usually do like the original covers more than the discreet covers and would often most of the time would prefer the dis the original covers but these are really pretty and they were cheap because they came in a set on um, Pango. So I got them. Then I got The Rebel King by Kennedy Ryan. This is book two of the All the King's Men duet. The first one is um, The Kingmaker, but I have the special, like some kind of special edition box uh, book of The Kingmaker. Um, but so I got finally got the second book because I know that that one I heard ends on a cliffhanger and like it's good to have this one immediately available because like you gotta know what happens next. Next I have another book I already read and it's Birthday Girl by Penelope Douglas. I love this book. I don't know if I gave it four or five stars but I'm obsessed. This was the um, age gap boyfriend's ex-boyfriend's dad romance and 
I loved this book. I read this two last year, two years ago. I don't know, but I want. I've been looking for a physical copy for a really long time without having to pay the full price for it because I feel like. See, my thinking is like this. I read this book on ebook, I think, or audio. I don't remember. I think it was on ebook. And I wanted to get a physical copy, but I didn't want to pay full price for it because I already read it. So why would I pay full price for a book I already read? I don't know. I mean, I did it with corrupt, so whatever. That's just my thinking has just is just wacky. Um, so when I found this uh, cheap on Pango, I snatched it up. And then the next book, the next to last book I got was Dark Notes by Pam Godwin, which I'm now I'm like, I shouldn't have even got this book because Pam Godwin is one of the Mystic Boxes featured authors that I'm, that is coming, and I'm pretty sure that one of the books in that box is dark notes they showed like the spine when they do the sprayed edges and the designs on the spine and it's a treble clef symbol so i'm pretty sure that the book in that box is dark notes and i think the other one might be sea of ruin which i'm also kind of glad i wanted to read that one too but i'm like well, let me wait until these boxes come to see if that's one of the books but if it is dark notes then i'll probably resell this one um, but yeah i've been wanting to read this one either this is a student and piano teacher age gap romance. I've, I have not yet read Pam Godwin. I really, really want to because she seems like the type of dark romance author that I will love. So I need to read her as soon as possible. Okay, and we're down to the last book. The last book I got wasn't even one I bought. It was actually one that I don't remember which book it came with. But when you purchased however many or whatever dollar amount from this one shop, you got to pick a free book that was like $3 or under. Um, so I picked my one true highlander by suzanne enoch now this is the second book of that book hero in the highlands that i never finished i've been in the middle of reading that book since december when the historical romance readathon was going on around like christmas time this is the second book that comes after that so i'm like am i even gonna end up reading i think i heard this one is better than that one um but we'll see so but yeah, it was free so I just this it was a free add-on like the, the person messaged me and was like hey don't forget to pick your free book and I was like all right and this was I was like well it's the second book in a series that I'm already starting so I might as well just get it because it's free um but yeah so that's it those are the 40 something books that I haul in the last three months again I'm gonna be trying to be more a little bit conscious and picky about the books I buy we'll see we'll see how that ends up working out I don't know how well it's going to work out, but I'm going to try. I'm going to try. Um, so yeah, so that's it for this video. Thank you for watching. Thank you for sticking around with me. Um, let me know if you think I should read any of these books like ASAP. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.